Bass, um, obviously an unfortunate accident for Guy Finkler, but do you feel this is the chance you've now got to cement a, a place in the first team here? Um, yeah, obviously it's always disappointing to lose a, a teammate, um, especially for a long time like that. But um, yeah, it gives me my uh, opportunity to come in and show what I can do. And um, yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling confident, I'm feeling good, so yeah. A goal off the bench in Sydney and a start last week. Do you, are you pleased with what you've done so far? Um, look, uh, yeah, it's, it's always good to come in and uh, score a goal and it gives you a bit of confidence. And yeah, it just, it's been a while since I've played. I had the uh, plantar fasciitis, which uh, was pretty disappointing coming off the preseason. But um, yeah, I'm coming in, I've, I've yeah, come off the bench a few times, I scored that goal. and. You know, now it's just time to cement a spot. It's a bit of a different role though, isn't it? I mean, you know, in Adelaide you were used a lot as a right back here. When you did play, we sort of more or less saw you playing probably as a right back, flanking type player. Yeah, I think different coaches see me as a different type of player, yeah. Um, I just think that uh, my best position personally is in the midfield and um, yeah, however a coach sees it, Andrew was using me earlier in the season or in the pre-season as a right back and um, you know I, I can do a job I can do a job there I think personally and if the coach thinks so then you know I'm not going to question that wherever he needs me I'll, I'll do the job there. Spencer, um, I guess uh, just in terms of uh, Finkler's injury Ange has reiterated that he's interested in getting uh, a sort of replacement player in a similar position um, I guess it's key then for you to sort of hit the ground running as quickly as possible and try and force Ange into not bringing yeah. that player in if he signs it. I, I don't think of it like that. Um, you know, I, I just go out there and play and then the coach and, and the club are going to do whatever they think is right for the club and for the future. So, you know, all I can do is go out there, play to the best of my ability and, you know, I'm sure it will work out. We probably become pretty used to seeing how victory was sort of lining up through this season with kind of the two attacking midfielders and then the wide forwards. Um, it seemed that it was a little bit different last week, more of a diamond sort of in midfield. Yeah, uh, yeah there was a bit of a structural change there. Um, yeah, probably, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say I'm the perfect replacement for Finkler. We're different types of players. So I think the coach seen that, the boss seen that. and. Um, yeah, he's changed it around and look, I'm happy with it. As long as I'm playing, I'm happy. So, And as long as we're doing well, you know, that, that's the most important thing. Good for the team too, to sort of have that versatility to change it up in midfield, maybe make Flores the focal point or whatever. Yeah, and then there's a lot of lot of boys in the team that, are, that can step up and do the job. And, you know, we all know our structure. We know how uh, the boss wants us to play. So, you know, we all wait for our opportunity and when it comes, you grab with both hands. You've been back in Australia a couple of years now after yeah. checkered time yeah. in Romania <laughs> and, and a few other places. How do you feel your game has gone and your, your, your situation as a footballer uh, now is? Look, uh, personally, you know, my time in Romania on the pitch was actually pretty good. I was, I'm happy with it, but since I've come back, I've, uh, yeah, I went to Adelaide and, you know, not, uh, personally wasn't great, uh, got injured, uh, yeah. Uh, Came here, uh, same thing, similarly, like got injured at the start, done the whole pre-season, uh, got the injury and you know now hopefully that's behind me and um, yeah my best years are to come in the A-League. Do you see this as a, almost the last roll of the dice for you given what's happened in the past? Yeah, uh, uh, no I'll never look at it like that, I, I think I'm confident enough and and yeah a man enough to, to know if I'm doing well or if I'm not and you know, when to finish and when not to finish. So I think, you know, yeah, given the opportunity, given the time and yeah, getting my fitness back up and playing regularly, I think, yeah, I wouldn't have a problem. Big but, test this week uh, down in Launceston. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's a great place. We went there in the pre-season, uh, friendly people, yeah, nice, good fans and, and it should be a good game, good game for the Tassie people and for us. And yeah, they've, they've got a good game to watch because uh, yeah, first against third, so. Um, hopefully we get the win, you know, make the Tassie, Tassie local uh, happy because I'm sure they're supporting us. Spencer, <laughs> a, couple of your te a couple of your teammates uh, left yesterday. Um, must be disappointing to see, see those uh, leave. Yeah, yeah, uh, I heard about that yesterday and um, yeah, it's very disappointing. Um, you know, it's always sad to see people go, but uh, I think that's the game these days. And uh, 
you know, if you see opportunities elsewhere and, and uh, yeah, the, the club allow you to do it, I, th I think it's the right thing to do. I, I don't think you should stay around and just make up numbers. If, if you think you're going to, yeah, do well somewhere else, yeah, you, you see him go. And, um, yeah, like I said, it's happened a lot within my career. I've seen players come and go and I've done the same. So it's disappointing, but, yeah, life goes on. A couple of years you've been back here now. What, what do you make of the A League? I mean, you've you've been, you know, at some sort of high levels earlier in your career, and and you've played in decent leagues as well. Romania technically is a good league, yeah, isn't it? You technically, know? yeah. What, what what do you what do you make of this now after two years? Yeah. Look, uh, I was here at the start of the A League, the yeah. first two seasons, and uh, I can personally tell you it's it's improved. Uh, I don't know, unrealistically almost. It's mm. unbelievable how uh, quick and fit and just just uh, tactics wise and game yeah gameplay has just improved so much and yeah like you said I, uh, I went through the youth ranks in mm. you know decent countries I guess in Holland and in England so uh, yeah came back yeah, went to Romania which is probably I'd say very similar similar um, level to the A-League and uh, yeah it's just it's improved so much and it's only going forward. It's only going forward. Considering your experience going over to Europe at such a young age, there's obviously a lot of talk about a few young players in the A League at the moment. You know, looking to head overseas. Any sort of thoughts on whether that was a good move for you, yeah. or you know, anything? Uh, like that? Personally, I probably went too young. I went when I was 16. So, yeah, just I think that was the timing back then with the old NSL. I think was just about to about to finish. So. But uh, I think 20, 19, 20 is, is a good age to go over. If I could do it again, I'd probably do it like that. Have a few good seasons in the A-League. And um, yeah, I think the kids are lucky these days, the youngsters. They're, they're lucky to have a league like this and uh, so competitive, so good, so even. And um, yeah, if you can show your talent and, and do well here, there's, there's all, every chance in the world that they'll uh, succeed over overseas. In, what do you think of Marco? Leagues. Do you think Marco's ready to move over? Uh, that's not for me to say. I, you know, uh, personally, uh, yeah, he's a good player. He's, he's very technically, te uh, technical, uh, yeah, very quick. I, I think he's got all the attributes to play overseas, but uh, I, think, I think he's doing the smart thing, staying here for now and uh, playing well, having a good season and, and getting his name out there and that's the most important thing and you know before you know it he's going to have a lot of uh, clubs knocking at the door. And just quickly on the Mariners, um, who are sort of individual players from them who've maybe impressed or stood out for you so far in their season? Uh, I, th I think just team wise, uh, well you can't go past McBreen, you know at 35 years old he's already got what 12, 11, 12 goals so uh, yeah, he's doing well for himself, but uh, I think uh, just as a whole, they're, they're just a great team and it, to, the ladder doesn't lie. They're first and it's not a fluke, so um, look, it's going to be a tough game and it always is in the A-League, so uh, yeah, we just have to go out there and, and play to our structure and do what we do best and hopefully win the game.